Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Blown out areas of a photo can seem impossible to fix with Photoshop Elements. After all, Elements usually improves photos by changing the pixels that are already in the picture. But here's a technique that works really well on overexposed photos, which are common when taken outdoors on a sunny day. It helps to tone down the hot spots even when the camera captured absolutely no information in those areas. This photo was sent in by Rich. It's a great shot that he took of his niece. Even though one side of her face has areas without any digital information, I think it still looks good. As long as the transition into the hot spots is a smooth transition, I think you can get away with it. This just kind of looks like a photo that has nice high contrast to it. But Rich was curious if anything could be done with it and that's what this video is all about so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the brush tool to make it the active tool. If you want your cursor to look just like mine you may have to change your preferences and if you're on a Mac you can do that by going under the Photoshop Elements menu. If you're on a Windows machine go under the edit menu and then go down to preferences and choose display and cursors click on that and just make sure that you have normal brush tip selected and this will give you that circle to indicate where your brush is on your photo so the first thing we're going to do is set the options for the brush and if you go up to your options bar at the top of the window and you click on this little down arrow here it shows you your uh, brush sets and there's this drop down menu here which you can choose different sets from but we want to use the default brushes so make sure that's selected you just want to make sure that it's a soft edged brush and then for the opacity you hover your mouse over the word opacity then you can just click and drag and you want to bring this down anywhere around 15 to 25 percent so let's go at 20 percent and you can see that the icon reflects my change here so I have a soft brush at 20 percent opacity when I put it over the photo you can tell how big the brush is and you can ch you can change your brush size by using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard so if I press the right bracket key it gets bigger and the left bracket key makes it smaller now I'm gonna go over to my layers panel you wanna click on this create a new layer icon and when you do that puts a new layer and it's named layer 1 by default right above your background layer and that's the layer that we're going to use to paint on now we want to pick up a color from our photo that we can use to paint with and let's go over to the forehead area here first and you can see there's a hot spot right here and there's another one down here so what you want to do is pick up a color that's located right near your hot spots so I'm going to go right in the middle here and I'm going to hold down the option key if you're on the Windows machine it would be the alt key and your cursor will turn into the eyedropper tool and then while you're still holding the option key down click once and it will pick up whatever color is under your cursor at the time and load it into the foreground color which is located right at the bottom of your toolbox and why that's important is because when you paint with your brush tool it's going to use whatever color is your foreground color to paint with so we have that color selected and now I just click and drag with my mouse over the blown out area and just kind of paint I'm just kind of painting with that color and now I'm gonna go down to this other blown out area and do the same thing just hold down my mouse and paint with that and now if I turn the visibility off on layer one which is where we did our painting you can kind of see the before and after 
and you can see I went into the hair area a little bit there which I didn't intend to do but we can fix that later. Maybe I'll pick up a little darker color and paint with that just to make sure I get those hot spots filled in. Let's look at the before and after. Okay, now you can see a significant change. Let's move down to the cheek area. There's this area right here which is blown out. So I'm going to sample a color nearby right here on her cheek and then just paint in with that. And now I'll move over to the nose and pick up this area and paint with that. Maybe pick up here, paint a little bit there. And you can sample different areas to paint with. Okay, and now this area down by her mouth. So we'll pick up a color maybe over on this side of her mouth. And paint with that. And let's take a look at the before and after. That looks pretty good. Um, so now we need to fix this area in her hair where I accidentally painted over and just go over to your toolbox and select the eraser tool and then with the eraser tool just hold down your mouse and drag and it will take that color off of that area so now let's do a before and after and that looks pretty good so there you have a quick and easy way to fill in hot spots on your photos for lots more information and tips on using Photoshop Elements, visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, I'm Rick saying take care.